Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to the truest self. So today's video is going to be all about signs that you are out of alignment. Now I've done a video on signs of um, to tell that you are out of alignment with your life purpose but this is um, not necessarily to do with life purpose this is more of an everyday situational thing um, pinpointing those moments in your life that you experience that indicates that you are out of alignment um, from your higher self. You know, I believe that along this awakening journey and along our journey here on earth, we are here to rediscover our truest self and to connect to that truest self um, in order to experience our fullest potential and experience our fullest highest being in order to raise this earth frequency. And I've been getting a lot of downloads in my meditation and I'm getting the same messages over and over basically saying that we don't have to struggle in order to live a prosperous life. We don't have to struggle in order to achieve what we think we want to achieve. And so I wanted to share this video today um, to help shed some light on some signs that maybe um, you are out of alignment but you don't actually have to be. So the first sign that you are out of alignment um, with your life is that you are having way too much focus on your desires. Now we all have desires, you know, we all have things that we want, you know, we all have things that we want to experience and all those sorts of things. But when we are placing way too much focus on the desires, we are creating this distance between us and the desire itself. So for example, this is you, this is your current state of being, and this is your desire. So your current state of being is embodying a certain uh, level of frequency, and your desire here itself has another level of frequency. But when we are here and our desires here, there is an obvious gap. As you guys can see, there's an obvious gap, so there is two distinct different frequencies. And because there's two distinct fre different frequencies, the universe picks it up and says, actually these two are not in line there's actually two different categories happening on here and so the more desires the more focus we put on these desires the more emphasis um, we are giving to the universal energy is saying we're here and something else that we want is actually separate to us so what we want to do is close that gap you know we want to close the gap so how do we close that gap we want to close that gap by acting as if and you guys may have heard that many times um, with law of attracting law of attraction is that you act as if you already have something um, rather than desiring that something itself so if you are here if your current state of being is here and your desire is here by acting as if you move into your desire mode you move to where your um, desires frequency is at and then you become one with that frequency itself so as you can see that if you're placing less focus on keeping the, the desire as a desire because then if you focus on the desire itself it creates a gap but if you focus on becoming your desire or being your desire itself there is no gap and um, you become more you become in alignment with yourself so the second sign that you are out of alignment um, with yourself is that you experience negative emotions. Now if I've mentioned this in my videos quite a few times, um, but yes, our negative emotions or our emotions in general act as the most important compass we can have um, in, our, in our lifetime basically. So our emotions indicate how far or how close we are um, in alignment to our higher self. So when we are experiencing negative emotions, it's basically an indication that we are having thoughts or feelings that are extremely different, polarizing, um, polarizing differences to what our higher self is having thoughts and feelings about ourselves or about that situation. Because our higher self doesn't experience these lower vibrations, they don't experience these um, lower thought forms or lower feelings or emotions. And so how to know when we're out of alignment is then is when we are feeling anger, sad, hurt, all those sorts of things, guilt and and you know, even depression, anxiety, those things indicate that we are we are out of alignment um, simply because we are we are embodying freak levels of frequency that is very different to what our higher self is. So yes, I personally use my I'm starting Re more recently to become much more aware of um, using my emotions as a compass you know you know be glad that you are feeling these negative emotions I don't mean get rid of them or don't have them because it is great that they are there because they are acting as basically a light a torch for you to to help you guide 
you um, towards your higher self. So the third and final indication um, that you are out of alignment is that you experience physical and mental illness. Now, I'm not just talking about the short term that pops up here and there, illness types of things or injuries. Um, I'm talking more of the long term sorts of things like chronic illness or cancer or mental health like depression, anxiety and all those sorts of things. And, you know, mainstream science is only starting to acknowledge now and recognize that illnesses operate at a lower frequency than our optimal um, body frequency. So basically, um, cancer has, like, so our body naturally on a healthy level operates at a frequency of, I think, 62 to 68 hertz. Um, however, when we have, let's say, I think the cold or the flu, we well, might slip down to around 56, 57, 58. And cancer, when it slips all the way down to 42 hertz. So it's a really big demonstration that when we are um, experiencing illness, our frequency drops. And when our frequency drops, we become out of alignment with ourselves. And one of the reasons why chronic you no, know, something becomes chronic. Something becomes, uh, an illness becomes long term, um, is because those the things that have perpetuated those illnesses is our thoughts, our thought patterns, our state of being, our emotions. Those things we have been holding. So we might be holding to negative emotions, and negative uh, patterns of beings and way of doing. Those things have then over time manifested itself into uh, um, to illness. So let's say if, you know, we might have cancer because we have um, unknowingly manifest or any other illness, I should say, not just cancer. Um, we have manifested that into our life through our uh, many patterns of low frequency. So if we were to have surgery or medication on whatever illness it is, yes, it may temporarily fix the problem. But the low frequency would manifest itself by repeating that illness or manifest itself in other illnesses um, that you may experience later down the track. And so here, it's not about short term, like getting surgery or medication to get rid of the illness itself. But it's a matter of adjusting, um, changing the thought patterns, the patterns and the beliefs and way of being that have manifested the low frequency to begin with. So, yes, when we are experiencing these, these ongoing long-term um, negative thoughts, negative emotions, negative beliefs, they will, um, unfortunately and, and quite obviously, actually manifest itself through physical illness or mental illness. So, those are my three signs that I have personally um, realized and found along the way that really indicates and it quite shouts it shouts at you basically saying that you are out of alignment and so the more we become aware of these signs the more you know the uh, more chance and more opportunities we get to stop it or prevent it from happening so i hope you guys enjoyed that video um do share with me signs that you guys experience when you are out of alignment because there's just so many signs i feel like i can sit here and talk about them all day but i can't <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i will see you guys next time bye